Hello and welcome back to Aberdeenshire. This weekend I have been invited by Visit Aberdeenshire to come and explore the many castles and amazing coastal locations that this region has to offer. And as always, I'm taking you all on the journey with me. As you can see, it's not the nicest of weather today, but you know the saying, there's no such thing as bad weather, there's only the wrong clothing. And I like to advocate that because it's great to get out no matter what the weather. So let the exploring commence. So our first port of call this weekend is the infamous Slane's Castle. Now, if you're not new to my channel, you'll know I've been here many times. I absolutely love this spot and I find it incredibly inspirational. And I know I'm not the only one that finds it inspirational because this castle was uh, part of the, the inspiration behind the world famous novel, Dracula. And it also featured in the Netflix award winning series, The Crown. So it's got a lot of history, this castle, a lot of inspiration, a lot of interesting things to discover. So let's head inside and see what we can see. is not the nicest today I actually think it really adds to being here especially when you find out and know that this castle was one of the inspirations behind Dracula I just think you know being here on a mysterious moody day really adds to the mood and the atmosphere about this place and the fact that you are so you are literally on the cliff's edge here right on the cliff's edge it gives you that real sense of being up against the elements that real sense of you know the forces of nature and where a lot of the inspiration, I guess, has come from for a lot of things. I just think it's such a great place this, to just come, to reminisce, to allow your imagination to run wild and to really step back in time. I mean, what's better? What is better to start a weekend off exploring castles and coastal locations than coming to this infamous Slane's Castle? I couldn't think of anywhere better, to be honest. And a good walk to do from here is to my next location, which is the Bullers of Buchan. Home in the summer months to many puffins, becoming a very popular spot for puffin watching and puffin photography. And I can't wait to get there to see the puffins for myself and enjoy the cracking views that that location also has to offer. We've reached destination number two, the Bullers of Buchan. Absolutely stunning location. And one of its main geological features is this stunning collapsed sea cave down here. An absolutely phenomenal place to come and look and just admire it really. Just imagine the scale that this cave would have been many, many hundreds of years ago. It's an incredible sight. This sea cave isn't the only amazing thing here, especially at this time of year over the summer months, because this coastline comes alive with many species of seabirds, from razorbills to kittiwakes to guillemots. But the main attraction for many people here is the puffins. So we're gonna go and see if we can find the puffins now. It's getting towards the end of the season for them. So I think we're gonna be lucky if we do spot any, but I'm gonna try and uh, hopefully I can show you some on camera because they're a cracking wee bird and everybody loves to see them. So we've come along to the spot where puffins are normally found and sadly there's none here today. 
given it's the end of the season they've either all left for the year or they're out at sea fishing and uh, bringing some food back to their burrows but despite this this is a fantastic location to come even if you don't see the seabirds you want to the cliffs and the coves and the collapsed cave and all that that you've got here is incredible So after all that exploring, it's time for some lunch and we've been booked into Brew Dog's Dog Tap Bar in Ellen. And if any of you are into your craft beers, you will definitely have heard of Brew Dog because they're leading in the craft beer sector. I'm super excited to get in and get some food. So let's go. <laughs> afternoon has now arrived and the sun is shining and we are now in the countryside and we're off to walk around the grounds of a castle that I have never been to. It's called Castle Fraser and I'm super excited to see what we're going to discover. like your films you may have seen the film called The Queen, a BAFTA award-winning film featuring Dame Helen Mirren. Well this castle here, Castle Fraser, doubled up as Balmoral Castle in that film and wow it's such a magnificent structure. I have to say there's so many castles in Aberdeenshire, so many and in fact there's an actual castle trail here where you can go around and visit them all and every one is so unique and unusual in nature but this one has to be one of the most beautifully preserved ones I have seen. It's absolutely stunning. Another great thing about castles and all these old mansion houses is that they often have walks around the grounds that take you into woodlands and off the beaten track and there's often things like these hidden within the woodlands. It makes it well worth, as well as visiting the castle itself, actually going exploring in the grounds because you never know what you're going to discover. And I'm guessing this is some sort of old well. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's this uh, trickling noise coming from inside. Let's see what else is on this walk. I think there's this and I think there's possibly two monuments as well that um, are to be discovered. So. Let's keep walking and see what we can find. out exploring it's always nice to know that you've got somewhere exciting to come back and stay for a comfy and cozy night and I feel incredibly privileged tonight to be staying here at Meldrum House Country Hotel. Now as you can see behind me this hotel looks like a castle which fits in very nicely with the castle and coastal theme that I've got going on this weekend. Can't wait to get in here and enjoy it. It's a four-star hotel, it's got a very very old bar and it looks incredible. Just look at that.
Well, we've had a great night here at Meldrum House Country Hotel. Really nice food, comfy beds, lovely walks around the grounds, had a great time. And the weather today is a million times better than yesterday. Look, it's lovely and sunny. But it's great because it means we can get out and enjoy some more castles and coastal locations in the sunshine and you'll get to see them at their best. So without further ado, let's check out of this hotel and head to our first location of the day, which is Fivey Castle. <music> this place. Do you know what I love so much about coming to these castles? You know, no matter where in Scotland you are, but especially somewhere like this as the castle trail, and there's so many castles so close together, is you really notice how unique and unusual they are. all are. How they all resemble the families that called these castles home. And just the traits and everything they put into it, the initials, the hard work, the architecture, the masonry, they're all so unique in nature. And I just love how preserved castles like Fivey are because they are so beautiful. I remember the first time I ever heard of Fivey Castle. I was a teenager and I used to watch a programme called Most Haunted, where these people used to go around all these old buildings and look and see, you know, buildings that have been known to have paranormal activity. And I always remember the episode when they came to Fivey Castle. It was a good one. And I remember coming here for the first time after watching that and I was so amazed with just the grounds here are incredible and I can imagine the inside of the castle is just as spectacular. But just look at that. Imagine living somewhere like that in the olden days. Incredible. was great fun to explore, explore the grounds as well as the fruit garden and the pond walk. We've now come to the coast again, back to our coastal locations and this time we're at Forvey Sands and Newborough Beach. We're beginning at Forvey Sands and they are home to some of the largest sand dunes in the whole of Britain. It's a cracking location and I can't wait to show you it. weekend sees us at Newborough Beach which is very famous for its seal colony. So fingers crossed they're here for us today and we can get them on video and show you all how beautiful this location is.
had an incredible weekend exploring many of the places here in Aberdeenshire. I just want to say a huge thank you to Visit Aberdeenshire for inviting us along to enjoy this weekend. This year, more than ever, it's important to get out and enjoy the attractions and the beautiful locations we have on our doorstep. And here in Aberdeenshire, there's certainly plenty of them. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with me this weekend as much as we've enjoyed being here. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.